y'all don't mind, let's go back to a time we really used to have church. We used to have a good time, praising the Lord, the Spirit and in truth. I love them old church That old brother, pick up that old hymn book and you knew exactly what he was going to say. Sisters got happy, folks start patting their feet, clapping their hands and all of a sudden, he break off in a song, something like this. As I sit and I watch uh, uh, the news unfold this week, and I watch uh, uh, the story uh, evolve as to, as to uh, uh, how men were uh, slain right in front of the world, uh, placed on Facebook, how men who was trying to take care of his family, uh, selling CDs and minding his own business. And the report came in that he had a gun. We don't know if he had a permit to carry a gun. That's really irrelevant. Uh, if he's not threatening anybody, you take the gun, you arrest him for not having a, uh, a, a permission to carry it, a permit to carry it. But you don't just shoot him while pent down like a dog uh, six times in the chest. It, it, it brought back so many memories of just last year. We had over a thousand people killed, even children killed by the police force. And, and I recognize that all policemen are not bad. Uh, but, but what, what I, I want to, to address today is because uh, 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 there is uh, what we see that is happening with the police department and then we see what is happening in the community. I was just in the poll when a man was sitting, a black man was sitting in his car with a seatbelt on, mm -hmm. who says, I have a permit to carry a gun. Yes. And the man, the police officer, began to open fire on him and killed him in front of his four-year-old child. And, and I sit back and I watch us as a community here, and we seem so unattached as West Coast folk, uh, so unattached to what was happening. We, we watched it and we said, well, you know, that, that's the kind of stuff that happened. And we went about our own business and, and some of us got mad. We blocked the highways off in Los Angeles as, as if uh, that was something that, that was going to make a difference. And then I was just in the park when the sniper got up in a building in Dallas and killed 11 police officers. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Uh, in 2016, and, and I was just appalled as, as the murders and the families were affected on both sides, and I realized then, my God, that the devil was sure enough busy this week. Uh, and I remember saying to myself, I am so thankful to God that I'm taking my next breath because it could have been you, it could have been me, it could have been any one of us uh, in the news with death ringing on the door and beating on the door all over the United States. And so I said, what, what can I say to the people of God uh, as there is certainly a, a range of emotions that might be taking place? And God's spirit began to move in me and it brought me to Genesis 4, 1 through 10 where we have the first murder that takes place. Uh, we have the first murder that takes place. And, and I'm reminded that when God confronted uh, Cain, he said, Cain, what have you done? What have you done? And then his response was that God said to him that the blood of your brother calleth from the grave. And I want to use for a topic this morning that the blood of our brother crieth out from the grave. It does not matter if you're black, if you're white, if you're green, brown, it does not matter. We have been made with one blood. Am I right about it? Uh, and, 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 and because we've been made, if you just go back to the beginning of this, of this chapter, you'll find that Adam and Eve uh, begin to multiply and, and we all can trace ourselves back. You call yourself Israel, whatever you want to call yourself back. When you get through tracing your lineage back, it still goes back to two people. Adam and Eve. And Eve. Amen. Because they begin to populate their, therefore, regardless of our skin color, we're all made with one blood. And whether you kill me, if I'm black, if I'm white, I'm still your brother. Whether you hate me because of my skin color, I'm still your brother. And so, are y'all all right out here this morning? I need you to act like you're in church. The funeral is not in here. The funeral is somewhere else. That, that, we, we haven't, we're praying the Lord up in here. We need to sing some more. We need to sing some more. We, we have a church up in here. And I need somebody that came to give God glory to act like you came to give God glory. If you came, if you came to give God glory, can't you just stand up for a minute and say thank you, Jesus, for his word? Can't you just thank you, Jesus, for his word? Can you put your hands together if God's been good to you? It's not a funeral. We, we, we don't have a library up here. Let's have church up in here. Amen. If God saved you, if God delivered you, if you weren't in that shooting, can't you act like you thankful that you're alive today? Do you understand? 
understand you could have been dead just like they were. None of them expected when they put on their socks that morning that it was their last day. How dare us sit and act like we're doing the church a favor. We ought to be praising God in spirit Amen. and in truth. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. I want, I want to show you this. Uh, uh, what is the problem when we look at this text? Marlowe begins to read. You'll find that there were two offerings made. The first offering was the offering that Abel made. And the Bible said that God what? He accepted Abel's offering. Am I right about it? Right about it. He, 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 was, he was glad to have Abel's offering. But when he got Cain's offering, he did not what? Have respect, have respect for. Is that in your Bible? Read that for Read that for me. very quickly. And Abel brought him to the first. Abel brought to the first of his fruit. The first of his fruit. The fat thereof. The fat thereof. The Lord respected Abel. And the Lord respected that. All right, read. But Cain. But Cain. And his offering. And his offering. Had no respect. Had no respect. And Cain was and, very wrong. And Cain was wrong. Now hold on a minute. Now, now, Abel presents something. There's a word I heard someone say it out here. He presented the first fruit of his offering. In other words, uh, 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 Abel is in line with what God, the type of God that we serve. Amen. We serve a first fruit God. Y'all yes. ought to say amen. amen. We serve a first fruit God. And, and, and I don't know how to help you understand this other than to stay within the text and then bring out of the text what's happening in our world, but, but, but there are two people that are involved in these shootings. Both have an offering to the Lord. Amen. It is either an acceptable offering or an unacceptable. I, I can't judge. I don't know where this person was with God. I don't know what that person was with God. But I do know that in our lives, we ought to have God first in our lives. Amen. Uh, that, that, that we ought to be prepared to meet death wherever death is because we have always put God first in our life. And if God is first in our life, and if the police pull us over, or if your neighbor pull you over, and someone in your family, your brother kill you, you still ought to be able to say that I know that I'm going to be accepted by God because I have always put God first in my life. Amen. I'm not either for you shooting up buildings and getting mad and upset. Just know I'm in the hands of a good and an august God. Y'all ought to say amen. amen. The Bible said that Abel uh, gave of the first fruit and, and it said that Cain uh, obviously gave of his stuff. Now I want you to show the difference in Cain's offering. What was wrong with Cain's offering? Cain's offering was what? He said Cain was very wrong. Cain was very wrong. And the Lord said unto Cain. The Lord said unto Cain. Why are thou wrong? Why are you wrong? And why is thy countenance Why is thy countenance fallen? Read. If thou doest. If you well, do what's right. If you move back up you'll find that Cain did not give of his first fruit. Right. He gave of his offering. Right. He did not give of his first. And that's like some of us. And, I, and I'm, I'm going with it. I'm going to tie this all together. Because the problem with some of us is that we want some type of relationship with God. who we're not putting him first in our life. Amen. We, we, and when we don't put God first in our life. We tend to hate folk that are anointed by God. Y'all ought to say amen. amen. I, 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 I said submit to you that the reason folk are not praising God in the house of God right now, it's not because you're quiet. It's because you're struggling with where God is in your life. And you say God is first, but when we look at your offering, it looks like God's getting what's left uh, after, you, after you've surveyed what you have and decided what you want to give of God. Amen. You're giving God what's left of your time. You're giving God what's left of your resources. You're giving God what's left of your mind. You're giving God what's left of your body. And it's a direct result of it. When you see God blessing somebody else, it makes you mad. It makes you wroth inside. You get the spirit of Cain in you, and you want to kill everybody else that God is blessing. In their lives. Amen. Amen, church walls. I, I, know I'm, I know I'm telling you so right now. I, I contend very quickly that sometimes I believe that folk, when they're standing there looking at somebody standing outside selling CDs, hustling, trying to make a living, they look at them, they try to figure out why God's blessing them the way they're blessing them. I think sometimes they just get so mad inside they want to jump on somebody. I think they get so upset and so frustrated that they find themselves with a spirit inside of them that will tear up somebody that's trying to do God's will. But what you should, God said, why are you wrong? Why are you upset? Because I'm blessing somebody else. All right, now. If you just worry about yourself, okay. why are you mad about Brother Hamilton's life? Just worry about yourself. Okay. Why are you worried about this prayer? Like, just worry about yourself. Yeah. Why are you contending? Just worry about yourself. Okay. Amen. The hatred Amen. inside 
that we see amongst brethren is not because necessarily a race, it's because we don't understand why God woke him up. We don't understand why he exists. Murder is never right, it's never wrong. It takes a certain spirit to commit murder, less than only the first murder. In fact, when we look at Cain's name, it is defined as a as a as a, a, a regenerate or degenerate man. It is the worship of self-will. It is a person who can come before God and worship and give God exactly what he wants to give God. I'm scared of folk that can come in church and be quiet. Mm -hmm. Y'all make me nervous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because, see, see, so when you come in the house of God and you don't come with a spirit of praise, the visitors start moving around their seat because they're trying to figure out what am I sitting by. Because there's only one spirit that won't worship God. All right, now, Amen. All right, there's only man. one spirit that won't give God. And you can lie, Cain, all you want to, Cain. But the fact of the matter is, the spirit of God was not inside of Cain. And when it was time to worship God, he didn't give God his first. He gave God his surveyed leftovers. He gave, he, he, he's the type of person who would ask, do I give before taxes or after taxes? Wow. Amen, Walter. He, he's, right. he's the type of person that would have gave after he paid his bills. He's the type of person that would have came if he had enough sleep. I stopped by to tell you that if you got some sleep, you ought to be able to say, thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Get up and run the church. The only reason you get some sleep is because God allows you to sleep. The only reason you got up this morning is because God woke up. How dare you live in that bed? Amen. When the hand of God had to touch you, you had not have woke up in the first place. And you ought to be so on fire, Cain, yeah. when you're coming to the house of God, that you just had me, God, woke you up one more time again. Yeah. But Brother Hamilton, what does it have to do with uh, the setup of the lesson? But what's going on now? Because whenever there's blood, they cry out. There's always some spirit that wants vengeance. I don't care who it is. There's somebody who wants to straighten out Cain. Let somebody kill your brother this morning. Yeah, yeah. And the scripture in the world gonna stop you from getting that 38 and at least walking right. around okay. saying if I could get my hands right. on yeah. that big roll, <laughs> I'll put some lead yeah. up in here and right about yeah, we all know who wants some vengeance yes. But I want to show you God in the tax yes. Because I, I, I see folk that marching across the street and I see folk upset and I see folk ready to take violence and I see folk taking life for a life. But I stopped by to tell you that although Cain killed Abel, God put a mark on Cain and said, Don't you touch Cain. Yes, amen. Don't you touch him. Yes, he did. Oh, amen. amen. Yes, Point number one, God is the first fruit God. Let me run through these real quick. He's the first fruit God. Deuteronomy 26 and verse number two, thou shalt take the first fruit of the fruit of the earth. Proverbs 3 and verse number nine, under the Lord with all thy substance, under the Lord with all thy substance and all of thy stuff that I've given you with right. the first fruit of all the things that are in your increase. So if you went to Beheha, if you went to the gambling shack and you hit 500, you need to blame God his Proverbs 3 and verse 10 or Proverbs 3, but Proverbs 3 and verse 9. I don't care where it came from. God is still in control. You better trust God. Yeah, right. Amen. And when Abe, when Cain yeah. didn't give right, he didn't trust God. The spirit of Cain does not trust God. When you have the spirit of Cain, there's a lack of trust that's it, that's it. for God. Amen. Because God said, before you take care of you, make sure you take care of me. Yes. Now you upset, you upset because I accepted him. He gave from his first. Yes. You gave after you looked over to see what you wanted to give. Yes. And I don't take none of that stuff. <laughs> Y'all all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. because I'm trying to show you something. Because I'm going to show us, us in the text. The people, what should I do? Should I get me a gun and start watching policemen? What should I do? You better, you better turn to God first. Y'all are saying, hey, man, should I hate white people? How are you going to hate yourself? Don't you understand? Don't you let these people fool you. We are all made with the same love. We are all brothers and brethren on this earth of mankind. There is no color with God. We are all made with the same blood. You, you get your white man, you get your white man. Make some of us mad, all these healthy brothers standing around here. But, but he's still a man, amen. Amen. Y'all are saying, bro, y'all have to, y'all have to, y'all have to. Amen, amen. Get you a white woman, you know, just don't get 
brand new. Don't act like she better than the black woman. She's still a woman. That's what I'm saying. I don't care. I don't care what Becky name is with the good hair. She's still a woman. Right now. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Go on and preach. Go on and preach. Go on and preach. Go on and preach. Can, can, can I help you? If I stand up, you're going to see something in here. Because see, it's, ever since I heard the sermon, people are always talking about a Cain and Abel's first murder, but they never bring out the essence of the lesson because there's something God is showing of the people of those times what to do when murder takes place. And then there's something to show you that when, 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 when Abel cried out, he did not cry out to his daddy to avenge his death. He didn't cry out to his mom. He didn't cry out to his brothers. But God said, your brother's blood uh -huh. cried out from the grave. Cried out. He cried out not to me, but he cried out to God. Amen. And when you cry out to God, God said, I'll hear your cry. Yes, he did. Amen. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Some of y'all trying to answer the cry for Philando. But he ain't crying to you. Uh -huh. Some of you are trying to cry out for Eric Garner, but Eric ain't crying to you. Uh -huh. Some of you are trying to cry out for Tamira. She's not crying to you. Uh -huh. Some of us are trying to still cry out for even Trayvon Morton, uh -huh. but he's not crying to you. All right. The blood that's, that is on those murderers' hands uh -huh. is crying out to God. Yes. Saying, Lord, avenge my death. Yes, yes. And it doesn't matter who you are, what you're doing. You better look at verse number 10. In the text, the Bible says what? The Bible says what? He says? He says. All right, read. And he said, and he what said, has thou done? What has thou done? Mm -hmm. Thy brothers, thy voice of thy brother's blood cried out from, from, from the ground. All right, read. Now, keep going. And now thou art cursed. Can I curse? curse? With the curse? Which has opened her mouth. Which has opened her mouth. Read. To receive thy brother's blood. All right, read. Hand. All right, read. When thou tillest the ground. When you tillest the ground. Shall not hence forth yield unto her. It, this fruit, read. Keep reading. I'm trying this one. And, All right. And what did God do? He said, I put a what on him. He said, I put a what on him. Keep going. Just keep going up. Get over there. Sure. Extract of a few fugitive and a vagabond. All right. Shall thou be in the earth. All right. Read. Cain said unto the Lord. It's too much. My punishment is greater than I can bear. Read. Behold, uh -huh. thou hast driven me uh -huh. out this day out from this the face day. of the earth. The face of the earth. And from the face thou shalt be here. All right, read. And I shall be fugitive mm -hmm. and a vagabond in the earth. All right, read. And it shall come to pass. God doing that, read. That everyone that findeth me shall slay me. All right, read. And the Lord said unto him, He's going to make some of y'all mad, read. Therefore, whosoever slayeth Jesus. Whosoever slayeth. Uh, hold on, okay. hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Whosoever slayeth K. Hold on, hold on, man. Whosoever slayeth K. Zimmerman. No. Vincent. Whosoever slayeth Darren Wilson. Uh -huh. Whosoever slayeth Timothy McDinney. Uh -huh. Whosoever slayeth Daniel Potato. Whosoever slave Geronimo Yenes, who are these people? I don't know where they are right now, but I know that Zimmerman has a curse on him because he killed an innocent man. And God is saying to us through this text that it's not our job to slay Zimmerman. And if you put your hands on Zimmerman, I won't put my hands on you. Yes, I, I, I'm not protecting him, yes, but I reserve something special yes. for Zimmerman. Y'all ought to say amen. amen. I, I, I'm not honoring him killing nobody. All right. But vengeance, my Romans 12, verse, but vengeance belongs to me. Amen. I shall, y'all ought to say amen. amen. I, I, and, and let me tell you something. That I, I don't want you to put your tongue on him. I don't want you on Facebook on him. I don't want you on Twitter. I don't want you on no uh, putters fly or whatever this stuff is. I want you to get out of my business because if you touch him, I'm going to get you. I've got something reserved for him. I've got something reserved for him. And I need you to shut up. Put your rifles up. Put your guns up. Put your attitude up. Shut your mouth because vengeance belongs unto me. Amen. Hello. Hold on, hold on. What, what? We, we read that text too fast, didn't we? Okay, now watch it, watch it, watch it. A murder takes place. Murder takes place. The blood of Abel cries out to God. 
God says, when you kill somebody innocently, when you kill somebody that's not in war, you kill somebody outside of my direction, I'm going to curse the ground they walk on from now on. All you got to look at Zimmerman's life after he killed Trayvon Martin, he's been in hell ever since. He's lost his girlfriend. He can't find where to live. He keeps getting arrested. He's going through something. God said, I put my mark on him, and if you'll leave him alone, I'm going to deal with him. Amen. Amen. Y'all see, see what I'm getting? Well, what, what, about, what, about, what about Michael Brown? You remember Darren Wilson shot, Darren, uh, shot, uh, shot Brown. Am I right about it? Trent folk got mad, got baseball best. Went out there and knocked them below 38s and, and 22s. And I mean, they got them M16s looking at y'all with the military. Y'all y'all crazy. Y'all are trying to do the Lord's work. I read somewhere in my Bible, Romans 12, verse number 19. Vengeance is mine, thus says the Lord. Now, why is vengeance his? Well, in this text, we'll find the first murder. In this text, it is the first opportunity that First Corinthians chapter 15, around the 20th verse, can be fulfilled. Well, what's in First Corinthians around the 20th verse? In First Corinthians around the 20th verse, the Bible says that he that we become the first fruit of the resurrection. In other words, when the innocent died, when died in the grave and blood cried out, it is a prophetic pointing to that we are going to die one day. But God is going to lift us up. Y'all ought to say amen. amen. And he don't need nobody else to think you have to lift or stand nobody up. He said, I need to, I, why? Because I'm the, I, I'm the first fruit. I'm the first fruit of what? Of the resurrection. Okay, y'all look at me for that. What does he teach? What does he teach? Watch this, watch this, watch this. James 1, <laughs> verse number 19, the Bible says, of his own will, he begot us with the word of truth that we should be the kind of the first fruit of his creation. Speaking of the church, not only this, but we ourselves having the first fruit of the Spirit, we ourselves grown and ourselves earnestly awaiting the adoption of God. I moved that Abel was waiting on the adoption of God, waiting on his justification, waiting on vengeance to be taken, not by man, but by God. And this was appointing to the work of God. Look at First Corinthians 15 and verse number 20. But now Christ has been raised from the dead. The first fruit of those who are asleep. For since by man, now watch it, since by man came death into this world, since Cain killed Abel, death came into the world. The first spiritual death was Adam up in the garden when he lied to God and spread to God. The first physical death was Cain and Abel that took place. And God says, since man brought death into the world, he said, by a man, Jesus Christ, I'm going to bring in the resurrection into the world. And I don't need your help in the resurrection. I can do the resurrection by myself. Y'all are say amen. Is that in your Bible? Yeah. Yes, and that's yes. why you got to be careful not letting the news get you monkeying around with God's business. Amen. You got to be careful getting your pistol. I'm going to clean up my gun because if you walk up to me, I wish you would. I wish you would. I, 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 I say amen. Y'all know how we do it. I know how I do it. I wish you would. Come up. Yeah. But the problem is, God says when murderers kill innocent folk, All right, now. I hear the innocent. Amen. I'm going to help the innocent. I don't want nobody touching him. I'm going to protect him because I have a reservation for him. Uh -huh. Jude chapter 9. Jude verse 9. God said, I have a reservation for him. I have a reservation for those who think they're bad enough because I'm God all by myself. He says, I take life and I give life because I'm God. And when you take somebody's life, you trying to act like you got let me tell you something real quick. Can I help somebody real quick? Whenever somebody starts trying to take on God, the policeman problem is not us. It's not it's the fact that you took a life innocently and you are standing in the place of God trying to determine who lives and who dies. Amen. This battle is not ours, but the battle is between him Amen. and the Lord. Amen. God, I say amen. Amen. How do you feel about it, Brother Him? I feel, I feel like I'm going to mind my business. Uh -huh. I'm going to try to show Jesus yes. Yes. because God told me don't touch him. Yes. Look at your neighbor and say, don't touch him. Don't touch, don't touch him. him. But, but he shot he shot Trayvon Martin. Just say, don't touch him. Don't touch him. But, but, but what, what you got to say about it? I'm not going to put my mouth on him. I'm not gonna, why am I put my mouth on him? Hold on a minute. We got to stop very quickly. Very quick. You stay at Jude 9. Don't leave. The Bible says in Romans chapter 13, 
that every soul be subject to the high powers. Uh -huh. For there are no powers that exist except they be of God. Amen. He said, if you don't want any trouble, he said, don't you do nothing wrong. Yes. And you have to worry about the police. Amen. Then he says, for they are his executioners. They carry out his duty when time comes. Yeah. Now hold on a minute. No matter how crazy it might seem, amen, somebody. Amen. The police are still ordained by God. Amen. The preacher is still ordained by God. Amen. People are still anointed by God. Amen. You better be careful. I don't care what they do, how you respond to officers of the court of God. All right, y'all. I got to show you something. See, this is why I, I, I'm, 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 I'm slow to get, in, get, in, but I get involved a certain way. I, I point out what's wrong, but I'm going to let God deal with what's this. In Jude, verse number 9, the Bible said, I want you to keep reading. He said, yet Michael, who was Michael? Michael was the earth. He was the archangel. I want you to watch this very quickly. Yet Michael, you there? Jude, verse 9. Jude, verse 9. Uh, so that's Jude. Go, go to Jude. It's too, right, right before Revelation. Y'all got these... Uh, I got these uh, electronic Bibles. Y'all got to get your Bible. Hey. <laughs> yeah, see, see, they don't, they don't, the electronic Bible, you don't know where to go. They'll leave you looking for it. And, we, and these people ready to go home. They don't tell them that. That's why we don't pay you now. Because the priest's too long. Amen, son. I'm, try, I'm trying to get through. So, so I feed my family. Y'all playing getting me in trouble. Uh -huh, because these folks these folk take action on you. Amen. And, all right, now, Jude chapter 9. Y'all got Jude 9? Okay, the, the Jude 9. There's only one chapter. The Bible says, Yet Michael, the, arch, the archangel, when contending with who? The devil. The devil. The devil. Now, who, who's the devil? The devil, Satan, was made by God. Amen. Amen. He was in heaven. Yes, he was. Put in place by God. Come on now. Michael is the archangel. Mm -hmm. And Michael was about to contend with the devil for Moses' body. Uh -huh. But Michael said, far be it from me to put my hands on an officer of the court that God put in place. Amen. The Lord shall rebuke you. Amen. Michael had enough sense to know that even though he's the devil, I'm not going to say nothing bad about the devil. You better watch your mouth talking about preachers. You better watch your mouth talking about policemen. You better watch your mouth talking about folks. But God said, that's still my son, and I'll take care of him. Y'all are saying, man, there's a lot of folks that's in trouble right now because it, when a preacher sin, when a policeman sin, when somebody messes up, God puts his mark on him, and God says, I'll take care of him. What should I do? You keep bringing your butt to church. You shut your mouth. You praise God.